All righty, let me show you into uh, YouTube and let me show you what I'd like to accomplish today. So I've unlocked a new thing here. If I go under monetization, this is what it looks like. And this is very exciting. If your channel is monetized, you usually get these things like you get an overview. If, you, if it's not monetized, you don't get this monetization tab at all. But my channel is monetized. And usually if you are monetized, you get these two things, super chats and you and, and that's it. And in super chats, you can say, uh, do you want to enable or disable super chat? So that's that during a live stream and um, premieres, you get to be able to post these little stickers here or people can give you money like you know like biscuits always does which is so so awesome thank you so much biscuits she did that yesterday i really really appreciate that so nice so you can enable and disable that here and um when i reach 10,000 subscribers i also unlock this tab here which is the merchandise tab and this is something that lets you integrate let me show you uh, that lets you integrate T-string products underneath each video as well as the store tab. So if I go to my store tab, there's only, I only have two products here, but this is what people can now go and buy from within YouTube. And it's also nice that when you, so this is the store tab here, but it's also something that appears underneath each video. So like this was, vid this was a video from this morning, or in fact, this was the one from, from yesterday. Let's have a look at that. So underneath each video, there is eventually somewhere, there should be, maybe I don't see them, but usually there's products underneath here that people can, can buy. <clears throat> and I think that is, that's kind of a nice, kind of a nice thing that they, that they did there. And this is something you're eligible for when you reach 10,000 subscribers. Don't know why it's not showing here, but it's, you know, it's definitely on the, on the store tab here. It's usually underneath each video as well. So then the next thing then that you unlock at 30,000 subscribers is this thing now this is the membership tab and they let you basically join people's channel with this button so this is like a monthly subscription inside youtube and yeah if you reach 30,000 subscribers they they make that available they also made that available when they had this youtube gaming thing going that's when they wanted to kind of combat twitch and offer something like subscriptions and they gave that to smaller channels who were doing exclusively gaming so sometimes you see this on channels who have thousand or two thousand subscribers you also have that join button but i never had it and i thought yeah okay maybe i'll get it in 2025 i'm not really that bothered about it but it's just um literally like two weeks ago they just gave it to me and i thought whoa that's exciting so now i have this join button and the join button means that not only do you get to uh going to be part of the channel i'm giving away discord access for the supporter level at 499 you can set as many tiers as you want so it's a bit like on patreon that way it's kind of patreon things that are integrated in here and um, I thought on the on the lowest level, I thought because I very much see this as an as an addition to whatever else is going on on Kofi and Patreon, I was thinking, well, maybe because this is the lowest thing I can I can set, I'll give people access to these emotes then. So when you're in live chat on YouTube, I've uploaded these little icons here. So those are my my five emotes that I can give away on YouTube now, which is so cool. And lots of you have already signed up, B uh, Brian, for example, and Jeremy, and I really appreciate that. It's really, really cool. So yes, that's that's going on. But of course, when you start with that, this is all empty. And I just had these lying around, Dirko Vegas, uh, little graphics that I bought a few years ago. I thought, yeah, this is great. They they kind of represent what's showing on my Twitch page, and I'm thinking this is nice. I'd like to I'd like for this to become the official emotes of the Star Crew, and you all are of course the Star Crew, and you're all members of it. So <laughs> very thank you, thank you for being here. So this is nice. This is a new thing for me. So I, I put all these up, but these ones I can actually change. These are generic icons that are a little bit like the Twitch icons that are when you have, uh, depending on how long you've been a subscriber of my channel. So this, you get that immediately. Then I think when you're there for a week or a month or so, you get this one. And then, you know, this is for three months and six months and so forth. So you get a different colored icon. And these are generic and I'll show you where I can set them. That's under memberships here in the YouTube backend. It's kind of nice to have a look at this because this is something you don't really get to see. Look, here, Chris and Jeremy and Brian, they're all, they've all signed up 
and Julia. It's very exciting. So you've all been members for six days, literally since last weekend, which is awesome. So thank you, this is nice. And whenever you guys chat, you've got this green icon currently. Uh, let me see where that is. Uh, edit, there we, know, there we go. Your badges and emoji. So these are the badges and these are the emoji. And the badges, the badges are always six, but the emoji change depending on how many people, how, how many people sign up. So if I go and edit this, uh, I can now go and change them, use the generic YouTube ones or upload my own. So it doesn't matter. Minimum is 32 by 32. They have to be a one by one aspect ratio. And I like for the star crew to be reflected a little bit differently. And that is what I'm trying to do today. This is where I upload the emojis here and they, they you can give them different names. And they also tell you that if I get one more subscriber, I get one more emoji, which is lovely. And then you can go and call them if you if you type colon WPG, then they will all show these autocomplete titles. And that's all awesome. So I was thinking I can either upload my own and just give a single one that'll be a star so that that shows, you know, you're a member of the star crew or and I thought I'm going to have a quick crack at this. I can go and make the star, take the star and give it either different shades for these variations here and I'll see if I can color it in something similar to this or I'll put a number on the star so that I say you know number one number two six twelve and twenty four I don't know what it's what either of these options is going to look like but I thought I'd like to try that and maybe you know if you have any suggestions chip in and let me know what what you think is a good idea so let's do a bit of photoshopping here I'm thinking There we go. Brian, tell me about Clo then. Did you already, have you had, have you had a good play with Clo? I'm asking because for me, playing with Clo, it costs so much time and it is, it's also very, very enjoyable. So I, I noticed that when I'm in Clo, it literally goes and the, the time just disappears. There, I think this is a good star. I'm gonna go and open the star. And they're not that big, they're 128 by 128. So I'll go and make that a bit bigger. So, you know, it's, it's just a small icon. Let me go and name that, uh, I'll just call it star. And it's gonna be our original star that we're not gonna mess with. So I'll go and make a copy of that. And I'll see what the color tints look like. I think that's that's an idea that I can I can probably I can probably do something with. I'm thinking perhaps I'll just go and add a new solid color over it. And this is as good a color as any for now. And then just drop down the opacity and see what that looks like in regards to a tint, just to just to play with the color tint and the, the idea of what would this look like even. Different, different tints of stars more or less. We'll, we'll make sure the transparency on the background gets um, gets cancelled out or gets gets acknowledged there. There's also something like I could I could rather do this as an overlay. Let me not do that as, as, a, as a thing here. I'm going to go and delete that again. That was not such a good idea. I'm going to go and do this with blending options. So blending options and then we'll go and say a color overlay that's much better. And the color overlay that'll be dropped down and might also go and uh, change that color to something let's see what a purple star would look like literally the purple star and then also play around with the blending mode and just see oh yeah that's terrible dissolve is always terrible has that ever worked for anyone <laughs> it's darken versus normal yeah darken i can see darken multiply is always a favorite that retains the actual outline of the star and it's then with and without so you can kind of see that working Kind of see that working. Oh, good point. Yes, there's the whole, now that you have it, what, how can you actually get a product out of it? That's a good point. Oh, right. 
You mean inside Clo, Brian? When you drag a material onto a fabric in Clo? Yeah, I do enjoy that. So maybe let's go make a copy of this. Purple, let's get rid of you and see what else we can do with, with um, just testing different, different colors here. Yeah, so green, orange. I'm not sure. I mean, this is this is a way of doing it. But I'm not sure how much variation we're going to get with that. No worries, Rod. We'll be here. Oh, bring him into iClone. Oh, okay. That is nice. Nice, nice. Okay. So how you do it then, you go and you make your uh, you make your clothing in Marvelous Designer or Clo, then you export the what, OBJ or FBX? And then the materials do they they you you bake the maps like we did last time? How do you do it? Curious to find out. Yeah, see as soon as I start messing with things like blue, I don't think I don't think that's that's great. So uh, it could also be oh there we go. We can also do other blending modes. That might be interesting. That'll retain the star but make it completely different. See what different thing. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like it. I like the yellow star. <laughs> There's also hue. I mean, that's that's something I, I usually stay away from that, but you could literally twist the whole hue of the whole thing. Oh yeah, OBJ and then bake the materials, great. Because I think, can you, I think you can. No, you can't, can you? You can't export an OBJ. No, what am I talking about? It's not rigged at that moment. No, of course. Hmm, okay. I'll leave this here for now. And I'll try something else. I'll go and put these guys in a in a thing. And I'll just go call this one maybe the color tests. There. And then with this guy, I'm gonna go and uh, drag another copy out. And say what would it be like if we put if we put a text element on it. And let's say that would be black. What would it be like if you're like a 12 month subscriber? And is that even cool? I mean, is it something that's you know ridiculous or I can't really tell at the moment. Because the thing is always you put this together and then of course the big reveal comes when you go and when you go and dude when you get no, not at all. I've got the special version of Blender. I've also got the special version of Photoshop. No, I don't. <laughs> it works. How exciting. <laughs> well, alt click doesn't actually do things from the middle, from the center. Uh, you have to click and then do that. So I, I don't, I don't really know how happy I am with that. Even when we drop down the opacity a bit. When I say a bit, I didn't mean 1%. Oh, not at all. Let's try a hundred then. But the real, the real thing is what happens when you go and do this. Okay. Man, <laughs> is this is this even visible when we upload it? Because this is the size of the <laughs> of the emote. Is it is it going to be more? And what is it going to look like on the dark YouTube interface? That'll undoubtedly be the background. So I don't know if that actually makes a big difference. What do you think, Brian? Being at the receiving end of such things, which which option would you prefer? Would you say do you like a number in the middle or would you rather have a color variation on it? Let me go and show you the, the two uh, ideas. 
So I'll call this one number. And this one would be, you know, so you had a different different type of star, either this one or maybe this one or a blue one, depending on how long you remember. Maybe just colors, yeah, it might be, maybe just colors. And just be nice about it, about the colors. So what do they have here on, on YouTube? What, what colors are they thinking? Green, kind of mint, yellow and orange, and then pink and red. Kind of like the colors. I think I'd, I'd probably also stick with my colors. Kind of a, um, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we don't have to have six. I can double this up. I can just make a special one for people who've been there for six months. Let's just see how it goes, shall we? Let's just wait six months and see if anyone's actually staying. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll work our way up from that, I'm thinking. Colors it is. I'm not a big fan of the number either. Colors it is. So this one's kind of red. I like the red idea. Nope, that's not what I meant. I meant rename. Dude, I said <laughs> unbelievable. Click, click again, click yet again, and say this kind of red-ish. And then we have this guy here, which is, yeah, it's not quite purple yet, is it? So it's more like, see what else we can come up with here. See what the spectrum has to offer. And I can also apply some more color correction there. That's, you know, maybe this is not the best way of, of uh, dealing with the colors. I could literally replace them. Let me actually, let me try that. Let me try, see what I can, see what happens when I go and, and without the effects, what happens if I go and put, um, put a hue saturation node on the top here. And then we just fill it with the hue, see what that's like. Yeah, so hue in this case is actually probably a better choice because I just get better, better results. Especially in areas like blue. You like the colors? Let's, let's do it, Beard Goblin. Yeah, I like it. A grayscale, Brian, that's also an idea. Yeah, because I like I like many of these variations here, I must say. Yeah, colors it is. Nice, thank you for your input, guys. I appreciate that. Let's go make this one blue then. This is nice. So we know we're not gonna use the the um, color overlays. We're just gonna go and do do this. This is this is nice. I like it. Yeah, I remember, Rod, I had a colleague at work who always said, the more I know, the less I know. And I know exactly what he meant. This is exactly that. Yeah, let's go copy this instead of color tests. So let's go ditch the number, actually. Let's go get rid of what we don't need. And that's just uh, background here. So I'll go and pop that into background. or something spelled similarly like it, <laughs> background. And then uh, wasn't there also a way to lock this? There was, wasn't there? I totally forgot how to do that. How do I lock a thing? So I, oh, I just make it, I just make it, I just leave it. It's, I'll just make it that, whatever. <laughs> Which one we're actually using here? This one, this one, perfect. So this one's blue now. We go say this is blue. Then we have this one, which is currently also blue, but let's, you know, make it a different color. You don't know what you don't know. That's, that's a good point, yes. We have a saying in Germany that is, was ich nicht weiß, macht mich nicht heiß. And I kind of, it kind of translates into what you don't know doesn't make you hot. <laughs> And it's more about what you don't know doesn't bother you, doesn't trouble you. 
you don't worry about it, that sort of thing. I sh I'm sure I could spend some time cleaning up the edges here, but seriously, when it's this size, I, I don't think we're gonna we're gonna worry about it. So <laughs> the last one was blue. Let's see what we can make this one here. We need about six, so we have a yellow one already. What, this doesn't work anymore? <laughs> Why not? Answers on a postcard. Why doesn't this why doesn't this work anymore? Oh there we go. Kinda like like this. This is a nice nice color. Possibly drop down the saturation just a, a smidge. You can call this one purple. Purple pink. I like I like the idea of just it being a purpley pink. I also must admit I think did I put it? What, what did I do with this now? This needs to go here, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I did something wrong here. My goodness, what did I do? This one, this is that star, right? Perfect, because this is the blue star. This is, this is that. And we have, this is now purple. Man, okay, cool. So, purple. Righty, then this one here. gone way past that this could be red i like it a nice nice red great so this is now red this is our third one let's go and copy it and we have the yellow one the the novella the, 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 the one already that's number four so we're gonna make number five now which uh, could be like a nice green. That's also the lightness I can I can change here and a bit of saturation. So I like maybe for that to be a bit of a darker green, perhaps. Has to be just the right color green, you know. <laughs> What? Really? Christina, that is magic stuff. Let me see what happens if I go to another tab and load my thing and... <gasps> oh my god, me too! Yes, it does the same for me. Oh my god, Christina, this is the first ever time I'm seeing this on, on Twitch. It goes and loads in a new tab, starts brand new and goes, welcome to the chat room, and then it just goes, boom, that's it. <gasps> they fixed the chat. Oh, we'll be here on, we'll be here all the time. Thank you, Twitch. That is so cool. <gasps> that is completely new. And it was the most annoying ever feature on Twitch, ever. <laughs> Oh wow. Let's see this in action just for just for those of you who may have not been able to do this. So I've got I've got my this is my back end uh, in in Twitch. This is kind of what it looks like. And I've stopped the video because, you know, but this the chat is still here. So I can say hello like this. With, you know, not hell, maybe hello with a, you know, with a little thing and then, you know, that's that's what that does. But then if I go ahead and and literally, let me just do this on a, on a completely, uh, like a new private window, as if I'm not logged in at all. I want to see if it's if it works with me being not logged in. So I'll go to Twitch and say WP Guru. Uh, and then my thing should come up and should, should the chat populate? Does it? I'm going to watch my own advert there for now. Don't want to watch that advert. That's terrible. So that hasn't that hasn't happened here. That's interesting. It doesn't work on a new on a new tab, but on my Mac a moment ago it did work. So if I go up here and say uh, just there was an is it back to Twitch? No, there was something else. Back to channel. There we go. So I'll put that into a new tab. That opens that and and all the chats there. So that is very cool. 
and I'm seeing this is now getting weird because every three seconds we get another duplicate of me and then if I wave now it'll probably just go and and I'll keep waving every three seconds that's kind of kind of cool to to see that do you know absolutely because it's one of those um features that's just never been <laughs> never worked and it's always annoyed me about twitch okay this is getting freaky let's just go switch this off <laughs> excellent thank you for letting us know Christina awesome <laughs> And Jay's also getting excited about the green star here. So this is now, what do we say? This blue, purple, red, green, yellow we already have. So we need one more. And then we're already done with this exercise here. Thank you for hanging with me. I appreciate that. What else? Sure, well, this is nice. It's like a cyan, kind of a blue thing. Like a cyan. This is a nice color. So just, just to make sure this is different from the previous blue. So this is the cyan, this is blue. Blue looks terrible, we need to, we need to work on the blue there. We'll, we'll do that in a moment. I bet the blue, is this still done with the, not with the color overlay? Oh, there we go, that's, that's what just needed to get rid of that. Blue's fine, we've saved the blue, blue's all right. And then we now have cyan. Almost there. I'd like to. This is not 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 amazing just yet. So let's let's make it that. What happens with color rise? Is that the oh what colorizes is what what does that do? I, I can't I can't tell. I'm confused now. What's what's color rise now? And maybe color rise actually brings us better options than. Then just shifting the hue. That might actually be a tad better. Oh, my head's in the way. Yes, sorry. <laughs> yes. I tried that, Christina. The the layer effects or the way I tried them. They didn't have they, they weren't as as exciting as as these ones here where i'm just filling with the with the hue so this being different from from that blue is it is it that different that, yeah there we go so we have that blue and we've got a kind of a cyan thing i'm kind of happy with that i'm kind of happy with that so we have this we have that we have that with that and we have that so it's a bit of a shame that we lose the interior of the of the star on the lighter colors but i think i'm okay with that i think i'm okay with that i mean there's also i could potentially if we just use green as a test or the cyan thing as a test i can probably also just add a add a thing here the thing with the thing like the What's it called here? The, um, the brightness and contrast and just see how how that works. Maybe that's just, you know, quick and dirty. Does it do anything? You know, it just makes it, no, nah, I don't think this is, I don't, I, don't, I don't think this is, no, forget it. It's cool. <laughs> oh, we can always try putting it underneath it. Does that make a difference? No. Well, actually, now it's deactivated, so, uh -huh. Yeah, I suppose it does. It does something. With versus with without. It does. It does a little bit. I'm okay without it. I think I'll leave it without it. So this is the final result then here. We have green. Oh, this is actually cyan now. Cyan. Like the company. Cyan, green, red, purple, blue, and we have in fact the original, which is this one, yellow. So that's our six colors. Now all we need to do is figure out a way um, who should get which level. Those of you who are already in in the support there. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a link to 
too, before we go back into here, I'm going to go and post the link to an upcoming premiere of mine on which the chat is already working. So if you want to try it out live, we can go and do that. I think it's this one here. This premieres on the 1st of December. Let me go and t copy this into the chat. So those of you who are a supporter, <laughs> fruity colors, right? Yeah, I, I appreciate that, Steve. Those of you who are already supporters on my new YouTube channel, um, thank you. And also this is the link on which we can try it out. So I'll go there myself. And then the chat would be, there we go, Miss Christina is already the latest member. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Christina for signing up. There we go. <laughs> I appreciate that. Welcome to the star crew. So um, I haven't changed the things yet. So you still see that green little round icon. But uh, as we as we implement them, I think it updates live immediately. So I'll, we'll see how we'll see how it goes, shall we? <laughs> this is fun. I always love doing these things with you guys. This is really cool. So I'll go and disable the background and then go ahead and uh, I think my F2 action is set up to save a JPEG. Yes, it is. So I'll just go and turn that around. It was export, something about export preferences. Preferences, I like it. So JPEG 50, I'm gonna go and make that JPEG, just PNG. Transparency, smaller file. There, perfect. And now when I do this, I can go and put this into uh, maybe streaming. There should be a folder called emotes here. In emotes, we should have something like YouTube. And in YouTube, we're gonna go star yellow, which is the original. I will call you yellow. <laughs> and then I'll go with blue. Are we are we good with the blue? I'm not entirely sure. Also need to keep an eye on the on the <laughs> on the YouTube chat now in case we're chatting there. I'm not entirely sure if I like the blue. Hey, on second thought, is there tweakability in the blue? Let's before we before we do anything rash here, let's go and make a duplicate of that layer, switch one off. And on the other one, let's go and try the thing with the thing namely colorize see that's some somewhat better kind of like the colorized version a bit better it's kind of a bluish purple here so before and after then before and after does it look exactly the same are we talking about the same thing here that's terrible no, I think the center is different. Yeah, the center here is clear and blue. So I, I think I like this version better. Thinking. Fruity colors. I like it, Steve. I like it. Okay, so this is the official blue now. Star blue. I like it. And we shall go through this for every other color. Is purple maybe one of those candidates as well? That needs to just have a duplicate of that. And then we go do that. And then we go do that. And then we go do that. And then we go and do that. But that's, of course, not quite purple yet. It's more like, you know, here. And then we kind of compare. And we say that purple is more purple to my liking, actually. That is so exciting. Thank you so much for signing up, Christina. That's really, really nice of you. Star purple. Star purple. Is it is it good this way? Is it is it nice? We have chain. We have. I, I certainly like the purple better than the pink. Should we make it pop more? People go over overboard with with saturation sometimes. Especially when it's supposed to be subtle. And sometimes it really isn't subtle. You see, with the with the red one, I'm going to do the same thing here. Actually, maybe the colorize option works works better for me. Colorize, crank up, and 
think it's a different kind of red I'm looking for. I'm kind of looking for this red. This red's nice. Red star. Woohoo! Brown, I could try that. Let me try that just with um, with this one um, selected here. I'm going to go and make a copy. Brown is essentially, brown is sometimes difficult to comprehend for people because brown is technically, oh man, fiddled with the wrong slider here. Brown is technically an orange and you just make it dark, kind of a yellowish orange. So this is technically a brown if we go make it dark enough. And then you can make it uh, warmer or cooler as you as you see fit. I think I'm losing a bit of the detail here, and I'm not sure how it would separate on a dark background here. I think I have the I have that on here. So yeah, I think for my liking, some, sometimes uh, people can choose the the dark theme on YouTube, like they can on Twitch. And I'm thinking that I don't know, that might be a bit dark for my liking. I'll keep it there though as an option in case I do need another one and I do do need another one actually now that we're replacing the regular star people can't use a star anymore in the no we can actually no we can use a star what am I talking about I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep this around and call this one the brown one thank you for your suggestion I appreciate that oh this is the red one we've got the red one so let's go make the brown one just a spare. That's actually almost also brown. So a star brown. Right, and then we have the green one. Green. Let's also fiddle with the colorize option. I do, I do like that. Now that I've discovered it. It's kind of a minty green minty light type of green perfect green it is yeah i think the brown one is a bit too dark so i don't think i'll use it i think the all the like bright colorful play type ones i think i'll use those but you never know what they what else they're going to give me so <laughs> always good to have this one's already colorized so this one is the is it my blue though is it yeah it's my blue isn't it my my cyan rather my cyan all right cyan star cyan all right now comes the the major question of course which tier gets which star brown is mud color right okay <laughs> come on oh yeah this is the other thing i've unlocked here youtube giving if i haven't started that yet this is where i can collect money for good causes if i wanted to on certain videos so i, I dedicate the videos and then people can there's like instead of a join button i think there's a donate button i haven't explored that yet uh, memberships memberships star member fun my goodness we need another one don't we emoji yes look at that we need that extra emoji now that's very cool <laughs> Christina made it possible so they've got it here green cyan yellow orange kind of pink and red we could stay with the same kind of theme I suppose let me just go and grab a reference to that. Because I know what I'm like. I'm going to forget in literally four seconds. So green, we can stick with this and then we'll see if we like it. And if we don't, then we can, we can work around it. So I suppose new member is the one that people see immediately. So we're going to go and, and, and see what, what's the one. that stands out the most could be the could be the green one we could literally start people off with the green one and then move up to cyan for the first month and then on the second month you get another color 
Ralf Wagner, hello and welcome to the stream. I'm glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Is it the Ralph? Are we talking the 3D Ralph, the nurse that used to look after Christina Ralph? Is, is that the Ralph we're talking about? In which case, oh my God. <laughs> Twitch is the place that brings people together. You are, that is so cool. Let me illuminate myself better for you. Give myself better light here. That is so cool to see you, man. Unbelievable. So, so cool. <laughs> and thank you for the follow. Very much appreciated. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is just so wonderful. How have you been? How's the 3D journey treating you? Once I finish this, we have a super special treat and this is going to be great for Brian, for me, for Christina and for you and for literally everyone else who's in Mar into Marvelous Designer. We're going to have a look at that. So, woohoo. I'm just uploading some emotes here for, for YouTube. Oh, they, they give me that, that black background there. I'm sure... I've saved this with transparency, he, he says. Oh, I didn't switch off the background. Duh. Let's go save all of them again. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. I saved the black with it. That's just, that's crazy. So there we go. Yes, I'd like to override that, please. This is green. Star green. Because in the Windows Explorer, it all looks exactly the same. Nope, that's the red. I don't think I want the red. Oh, the, sorry, that is the red. That's the brown, isn't it? This is the red. Yeah, so in Windows Explorer, it always puts a black background. Much like iOS, it just doesn't really care. Pur pur purple. Hang on a minute. There's also... Didn't mean to... Yeah, see, I need to do this again because I'm, I'm excited that Ralph is here. This is so cool. Come on, let's do this again. That one. If you have, okay, there we go. Now it's gone. If you, sometimes if you have a second layer underneath, it just doesn't look good. If you, if I had that, there's this, there's this shadow border here. That's just, uh, yeah, unintentional. Green. Cyan. Already purple. I've already forgotten how to make purple or not. We're just gonna go over save that. Then we have the blue. Blue. And then we have the regular yellow. Alrighty. Oh, right, yes, you're on shift. Wow, okay. <laughs> yes, I remember Christina was telling you that you should make an account for yourself, and now you finally did. That is so cool. So, Ralph, tell me, are you a doctor now? You're no longer a nurse. You're now actually a doctor, right? Is that is that right? Because I remember that is what you were telling us, that you were training to be a doctor. There we go, transparent, all right. Then we go with cyan, I'm thinking. Just keep it with the YouTube color scheme and we'll see what uh, what we say there. After two months, I've already forgotten what that was. Then we get kind of a yellow-orange. Then we go into the yellow-orange thing. Might as well, yeah, okay, might as well do that. Yellow, then we go kind of red. And then after 12 months, what have we got left? We've got blue and purple. After 12 months, you get blue. And then because it's my favorite color, after two years, you can earn yourself a purple star. <laughs> That's kind of nice, isn't it? I'm thinking, let's, let's see what happens if I go save and publish. I don't know if they're gonna have to review them. No, look, they're live immediately. That is kind of nice, that's really cool. Well, okay then, if you guys are still in the YouTube chat, you are now a star. So Brian's now a green star. 
and <laughs> it looks amazing. Nicely done. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Oh, cool. So I suppose then. Yeah, you're good with the green star. So you're gonna get. You're gonna have the. After one month, you're gonna get a cyan star, <laughs> which is gonna be nice. I like it. There, now, member of the... <laughs> it's Minty, isn't it? <laughs> and hey, if you don't like your star in any of the forthcoming months, we can always change it around, it's no problem. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Joe, that is such a nice thing to say. That is really, really nice. And congrats, Dr. Ralph. Absolutely wonderful. Pediatric oncology. My goodness, that is a big field. That is a big field. Wow. <laughs> that is a wonderful thing to say. Hey, um, if you're into 3D, I, I seem to stream more on Twitch now. Uh, around from about 4 p.m. my time. So that's about 10 o'clock your time. And uh, lots of us are here from the old crew. If you want to, I'd be thrilled if you could join us and you know pick up some tips and tricks. So we're going to do some marvelous designer making clothing in 3D that kind of wraps around a 3D human figure. That's going to be awesome. If you're interested in that, you know, more than welcome to join us. It'd be really, really nice to have you. And we can spot, we can swap hospital stories. Tell me, is it true? My mom says that there is a couple of virus, um, sorry, uh, vaccines in the works. And I think the, one of the companies is from Germany. And uh, they're saying that you get one vaccination and after 10 days you get another vaccination. And that's supposed to then last for a while. Is that is that a thing? Because, you know, that'd be super awesome if we could at least get this COVID thing under control. That'd be quite nice. You are a star as well, Christina. Absolutely. And you both have the same color because you joined in the same months. This is so cool. <laughs> All right. Star crew. Let me tell oh, yeah. And then if you type in in the YouTube chat, if you type in colon, see if I can make that a bit bigger. If you type in colon WPG, then you can bring up all the other emotes. So then you can bring up the shark and, you know, when you get a spammer out of the way, you get, you know, get the, and you can get the pick, the pick the yellow star again. Exactly. Which I may replace with something. I kind of like the idea of that everyone can put a star of their choosing. Yeah, so WPG and then you can put something else like, you know, um, this one. Help me, please. Or you can put more. So because Christina signed up, which is super cool, I now have another slot free in the emote badge thing. Is that not so? Under upload my own. Oh, no, sorry. That was here, wasn't it? Ah, oh, man, did I just go now? Let me just quickly cancel out of that. Discard the changes, yes, because perfect. I want to go and say, because Christina's joined, I think I have another emote slot now. Let me just go and refresh that page. See what happens here. Five current members. All right. <laughs> See, five out of six. So I can now put another one of Durko's amazing icons on here. Let's do that. Let's do that. See which one we like. So this is under emoji, they call him help the shark the star the crab the wave add another emoji oh seven emoji i need five more members and then i can get another emoji let's go see what see what else we can we can find here in durko's amazing folder which is drastically altered it's kind of it's in here and i think then it's in here and then it's in here and then it's the beach icons under icons under here there we go so we have all these to choose from there's a sun icon, an umbrella icon. So these ones we have the crab, this, the shark, we have the star, we have the wave. Yeah, I think those are the ones we have. Five of them. Yeah, so the crab, this one, and then we have the shark. So we could have ice cream or a shell or a bucket or an umbrella. <laughs> And yes, I totally concur with Mr. Dr. Ralph there. This is what we're going to call you now, Dr. Ralph. Absolutely. Dr. Ralph, I totally agree with you. 
Christina is a wonderful teacher. We had a Blender session here on Twitch a few days ago, and it was one of those things where I really don't know much about that area. It was about maps and nodes and stuff. And Christina was was extremely nice and and um, kind to me while I was uh, trying not to completely freak out in Blender. It, was, it worked really well. So and it was very it was fun. So you can watch that session later if you like. Umbrella, you say? Okay, sunshade. Umbrella is good. I think Sunshade is my favorite one as well. Because this one, the Surf one, is a bit small and we have a wavy icon already. The ice cream is also cool. I, c I can see the ice cream as well. The shell is nice, but it's a little nondescript. So perhaps an umbrella. That might be cool. You forgot the video? Which, which video was that? You gave me one that was that I have yet to watch. It was, uh, it was the video... Um, of um what was it again it was about how when blender upgrades how do you replace the script files without um replacing everything oh the node wrangler thing yes thank you that is yes I, I i forgot about that as well let's put the umbrella to good use look at that and we can also preview them in the in the dark theme so i think umbrella is a nice choice Let's do this. And then eventually I might replace the star because then, you know, we can use the star for the slot for something else. For now, I think I'll leave it in there. And I'll call it Brolly. Is that Brolly with a Y or is it Brolly with IE? <laughs> I don't remember. And Rod's just renewed his subscription. That is very nice. Thank you, Rod. Very good. Is it to me, I suppose? <laughs> I didn't see a notification, so <laughs> God trust you on that. All right. With the Y. Thank you, thank you. That is that. So, if I go and save and publish, I, I don't know if they approve those. No, this looks like that's that. Brolly, brolly, brolly. Good stuff. And this one, yeah, we'll see what we do with that. So now, if we go... <laughs> exclamation mark. WPG brolly. Oh, hasn't, hasn't done it. Maybe I have to refresh it. Notice that when you do this on YouTube, the chat also stays there, Twitch, you see? <laughs> so call on WPG. Brawly, there we go. Ha ha ha. New emoji. In case it'll rain. Nice. I don't I don't show a star. My my name is kind of in yellow and all that, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's very nice very cool so i can with uh, with these tiers i can literally do i don't know if i'm gonna follow this with so if i go to memberships i can i can add others here so i could go and edit this if i wanted to this is on the on the memberships tab again i can go and edit this and that will be have they'll have to um that I have to approve that, but I can add a level. I can add as many levels as I like here, and then literally give out um, give out things uh, like um, just add perks. And one of them is then like a link to something if I wanted to do that. So yeah, that's that's how that works. So I can have as many levels as I like, 10, 20 levels if I wanted to. And I'll see where I go with this. But thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I'll see if I go and replace that last star in the in the current emoji lineup <laughs> all right ralph's gotta go to work no worries no worries yes 4 p.m eastern standard time that is when i stream on twitch that is about uh 10 p.m in germany 9 p.m in the uk and then for about you know a couple of hours sometimes you know what's hdl hdl hab dich lieb there we go hdl absolutely very good hdl Bye, Ralph. It is wonderful, wonderful to see you again. It's, it's unbelievable pleasure to, to see you. That is, that's just so cool. And have a good shift, my friend. Have a good shift. Dr. Ralph. 